Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. The belongs to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have given us this truth by way of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Yahweh by Hashem Masiach Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, 144,000 who are doing the work and sacrificing themselves on the altar in the highways and byways. Also, peace and salutations to the one-third men, women, and children who are watching, listening, learning in order. This is Shemario with GMS Wisconsin. And I came across this video today. And uh, this is actually my first time seeing this video, but from what I understand, this video is old. But um, by it resurfacing, lets us know that it gives us foresight into what's about to get ready to happen. And Jacob's trouble is, is, is brewing and speeding up, as you can see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this video, and then I'm going to go into some scriptures that uh, coincide with what's going on. Being cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations, he will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord Yahweh will wipe away all tears of all faces. And the rebuke of his people he shall take away. Listen to me, the shepherd's book. Yes, hello. Okay. Hello. We're here about this sign. It's okay. offensive. How is it offensive? The first word you've used on there is a racially offensive language. What, the, the Negroes? Yes. That's in the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. But you're in an area with a very large Afro Caribbean community. Right. You've had one call about your behavior and the fact that you've been making racist comments and things which they will pass. Well, what would you term as the word racist? Yeah. Telling uh, women who wear jeans. Yeah. Freedom of speech. Telling women to the past that they are No, no, no. The scripture was being read. Okay. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah, I'm not arguing with you. But what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm reading the Bible. Okay. And I had a Christian come up here to try and argue with me that the, the words I'm reading is my own words. So what I did was, I told her to read it for herself. And then I opened the Bible and I showed it to her. And when she saw it, she apologized and left. That's all it was. Based on signs, on the signs. Yeah, yeah, but, but wait, the, the sign is actually That's biblical. Exactly. You can't use that language. Why can't okay. I use this language? No, he says language. the, 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 the tribe of Judah. Based on the sign, was, and the fact that you're sure. I think, I think, I think, I think okay, yeah, the No, this is not, this is not. This is not my sign. 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 Stop it right there. You heard what he said? <laughs> and that's a prophecy that's in the Bible that's actually going to happen. God and Mega, which is Russia. And they will. <clears throat> they will. They will. E Edom, Edom has a, a, a heavy, a heavy price on their head from all the despicable, despisable things that they have done to the children of Israel. But um, again, I'm going to grab these scriptures and let's touch on this. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys right now, um, Israel, you're listening. Those that are listening, watching, listening, and learning. Um, Jacob's trouble is, is on the way. And uh, through the Spirit, this resurfacing is uh, an indication to give you foresight into these things to come. But um, during this time, man, you got to be, you got to stand 
Not, you gotta you gotta be strong. You gotta have faith. You gotta stand. You gotta stand fast, man, and realize. You know what I'm saying? Don't be moved. Well, with that being said, you know, hey, you look at that man's stature. He's pretty yoked up. You know, pretty strong. Pretty, you know, he could have easily got away from them. You know, but um, the Bible does tell us to uh, to agree with our our adversary. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go into that first because if you notice, he didn't he didn't get he didn't he, you know he spoke his, he spoke through the truth through the through the scriptures and, and he spoke you know his truth as far as what he was doing and why and that he has the right to be able to do that. But at the same time, if you look at him physically, he could easily just snatched away from him, ran off and took off. But we are told through the scriptures, this is Matthew five verse twenty five, said, "Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst there art in the way with them." Lest any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Now, of course, he's being arrested. So, these are things, these, this is the fate that we must endure for this truth. Just like Yahweh Shah did. He could have broke away. He could have got away from all that turmoil and all, all, all that persecution that was happening to him. But he, what did he do? He kept his faith, and he endured to the end and that's what we need to do all right so let me grab some scriptures to coincide with that uh, this is Matthew 10 verse 24 it says the disciple is not above his master nor the servant above his Lord yes we're not greater than Yahweh Shai you know with that being said the same things that he's endured we're gonna have to endure as well it is not enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? So if they call you like, hey man, he's a devil, he's, he, he, he's evil, he's wicked. He's doing wicked things, he's out here teaching them this, he's got a wicked doctrine, whatever he's saying. If, you know, I wish I went through the same thing. So it said, how much more shall they call them of his household? We are of the fold. You gotta believe that. If, you, if you're going through these things, you know you are. You know? That's an indication. It says, Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. So everything, all the truth is starting to come out in the world. So they're going to be exposed from being liars that they are and, 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 the, and, and, the, and the persecution that they, that they um, wrongfully uh, did to us. You know? So it, it, this is uh, 27. It says, What? What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. Yeah, man. Uh, giving them these precepts. Sticking to the script that the Lord is giving you, man. Passing on that knowledge. Waking up the elect. Crying aloud. <clears throat> 28, it says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah, man. Just imagine being destroyed to the point where you don't you don't know whether you're coming or going. The spirit's done with. Yeah, everything's done with. You know. The Lord has power over all things. The way you think, the way you move. Remember that. This is twenty nine. Says, "Are not two sparrows sold for a, a fart thing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father?" Again, the Hawabah Shemi Awashah is in control of all things, man. All things. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. He knows the number of the hairs of your head. He know he 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 he's he's in control of all things again. He knows the beginning and the end. As it says, Alpha Omega. It says, Fear fear ye not, therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows. Man. He's setting us apart and putting us above all nations. That's what he's done. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Yeah, Yahweh Shai is going to do what? Confess us to the Father. That grace. You know? That's why we sacrifice on the altar. You know, for some of us, we go, we go out on Saturdays. Other brothers go out during the week, Fridays, whatever. We're sacrificing on that altar, man. We're, we're, we're putting our, we're putting our uh, arms to the plow. We're up to paraphrase. 
But well, this is uh, 33 says, but whosoever shall deny me before man, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Again, all those who don't believe, we would be denied and destroyed. Let's go into, uh, this is First Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 7. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that uh, perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Hamasiyat. Yeah, man. These times are going to try you, but they're meant to try you through the fire, man, so that you can help, so you can stand stiffly against it. Any trial and tribulation that come your way and your faith continues to grow. During these times, man, we got to pray, we got to fast, and we got to really, really have faith uh, boosters um, each and every day, man. So continue to pray for it. Pray for more faith. Pray for more um, to be able to fast more, you know, so that you can stand the trials and tribulations that come upon you. The Lord knows what's, what's ahead, knows what's coming. So we got to be strong and resist the temptations. We got to resist the persecution, you know, by, by being faithful and enduring it and enduring it. Okay. This is 2 Thessalonians verse, chapter 1, verse 4. So that we all ourselves glory in you in the churches of the Most High for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. Yeah, man. Our father, our father, Yahweh was shy. And the, and the, the angels, all those are in heaven, man. They're watching this right now. They're watching this right now, man. And it says, like, they, want, they said, uh, glory in you in the churches of the Most High. For your patience and faith of all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. You know? It's a spiritual thing, man. And don't best believe angels are watching us at all times. And uh, I'm going to go to Luke 21, 12. This is coincide with the video directly along with all these other scriptures. But look, check this out. This is, 12, this is verse 12. It says, but before all these, these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. You know, the judges, the judges and the, the president or whoever it may be that is in rulership or the kings at, at one point. But you know, you will be persecuted for this truth, man. You'll be persecuted for, for your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? So, and then I'm going to end it there. This wanted to be something real quick that jumped on me. It normally jumps on me around this time anyway. But um, through the spirit, I hope you were edified. Uh, call Allah, Yahweh, Shai, 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 Yahweh,